All right, welcome back everybody. I've got my hat, hat, hat on. And I figured uh, this video is just me going through three examples. And for that reason, it might feel a little dry. And so instead of sharing one thing that Mr. Lantrop always used to say to me, I figured maybe I would just try to teach the whole lesson the way that Mr. Lantrop would. So I'm gonna do my best country accent for the remainder of this video. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna figure out how to solve equations that have rational numbers. So I'm talking fractions, I'm talking decimals. We're gonna figure out how to solve all kinds of equations. All right, so let's look at this first example here. Now, you know, the way we solve an equation, we gotta find the solution, right? We make a list of the operations happening to that variable right? What's happening to it that's turning it into whatever it's getting turned into. And then we undo those operations in reverse order, right? So we're going to use those inverse operations, right? The ones that undo whatever's happening to X. So the first thing I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to make me a list of what's happening to X, all right? So we got X here, right? It says some things are happening to it, turning it into the number 15.5, 15 to 5 tenths. So what's happening first to X? Well, it's right up next to that negative four. And what that means is it's getting multiplied by negative four. So I'm gonna write multiplied by negative four right there. That's the first thing happening to it. Then what happens next is it's getting added to by that three and five tenths, all right? And that's what's turning it into 15 and five tenths, right? But we're trying to find the solution. We're trying to figure out what that X is. So we got to undo all these operations. So we're going to start from the bottom. How do I undo adding three and five tenths? Well, I'm just going to use the inverse operation. I'm going to subtract it. So we're going to subtract three and five tenths from here. And all right, let's see here. So I bring down my equal sign. I did the same thing to both sides, right? Got to keep it balanced. So what's on my left side here? Negative four times X plus three and five tenths minus three and five tenths. Well, that's going to add to zero. So I can just get rid of that. So I'm going to write negative four times X, negative four X. And on this side, 15 and five tenths, I take away three and five tenths. I'm going to get 12. Okay. So we've done that. We've done this step right here. Now we've got to undo multiplying by negative four. So how do we undo multiplying by negative four? Well, what's the inverse operation of multiplying? It's dividing. So we're gonna to need to divide by negative four here. So I'm gonna divide both of these by negative four. And let's just think about what's gonna happen there. I did the same thing on both sides. So I bring down my equal sign. Negative four times X divided by negative four, that negative four and negative four are gonna to divide to one. So we really just got one X here. So I'm gonna write, well, I don't even need to write the one though, do I, right? I just write the X. And then 12 divided by negative four, well, that's just gonna be negative three. And that is in fact gonna be my answer here. Because if I go all the way back up to the original problem and you imagine we put a negative three right here where X is, multiply it times negative four, that's gonna get you 12 plus three and five tenths, that's 15 and five tenths. All right, so let's look at another example of this. Okay. Uh-oh, let's make that list. What in the world is happening to our variable here? All right, so we got Y. Now Y is getting, well, it's right up next to that fraction, isn't it? That means it's getting multiplied by two thirds. And then what's happening next? It's getting subtracted by five. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do, we're just gonna wanna undo this minus five by using the inverse operation. What's the inverse operation? Adding five. So I'm just gonna add five to both sides here. Bring down my equal sign, right? Since I did the same thing to both sides. The minus five and plus five, those are gonna add to zero. So I can just write two thirds times y. And negative one plus five, that's gonna be four. Okay. So I have undone the minus five by doing plus five. Now I've gotta undo times two thirds. Now I'm gonna to need to divide by two thirds. I'm gonna undo it, but you know what? This is important to remember. 
And in fact, I wrote it down as a hint and it's supposed to go in your notes. Instead of dividing by two thirds, well, why don't we just go ahead and do the multiplying by the reciprocal thing? If we multiply by the reciprocal, it's gonna get rid of that two thirds. Watch what happens. So instead of dividing by two thirds, I'm gonna do the next step anyway, which is multiply by the reciprocal, which is three halves. Now look what happens when I do this. These threes, they divide to ones. These twos, they divide to one, they're all gone. All that's left on this side is y. And then over here, four times three, that's 12. And then an invisible one times two, that's two. Oh, well, 12 halves, that's just six. So that's gotta be my answer right there. So anytime my variable's getting multiplied by a fraction, to undo that, I can just multiply by that reciprocal. Remember a reciprocal, you just flip the numerator and the denominator, and then you multiply and everything multiplies away to one. All right, let's do one more example. I hope y'all appreciate this accent because I feel real dumb doing it. All right, what's happening to X here? Let's see here, let's make this list. All right, what's happening to X? Well, there's just a negative sign. So is that happening to X? Well, that's right, there, that means there's an invisible coefficient of negative one. Y'all remember that? That negative sign means it's getting multiplied by the number negative one. And then the next thing that's happening is it's getting added by seven. So we're gonna to need to undo this stuff in reverse order. So how do I get rid of that plus seven? I do the inverse operation, which is minus seven. So I do minus seven on this side of the equal sign, minus seven on that side of the equal sign. I did the same thing on both sides. So I bring down my equal sign, 16 minus, seven, that's gonna be nine. And negative one times X, that's gonna be negative X. Plus seven and minus seven, those add to zero, so I don't have to write that down. So I have finished undoing plus seven. Now I need to undo times negative one. How do I undo times? How do I undo multiplying? Well, I divide by negative one. So if I divide both sides by negative one, and I bring down my equal sign, nine divided by negative one, well, that's just negative nine right? And negative x divided by negative one, well, the negatives, right? Two negatives in a division problem, they cancel back to positive. So that's just going to be regular old x. So negative nine is the value for x. Well, I hope you all appreciated uh, a little bit of Mr. Lantrop. That is indeed basically how math class sounded to me every single day. Um, and I found it delightful. And I thought maybe, maybe if I liked hearing some good old boy, talking about math that maybe you would too. Anyway, let me know if, uh, if you liked it, if it made any kind of sense, if you didn't like it, I'd like to know. All right, y'all have a good one.